few sports are more rules driven than golf. So, when members of the Champions Tour tee off later this month at the Sanford International, they'll be held to the highest of professional standards. But fans watching the players at the Minnehaha County Club also have certain rules that they need to follow. Shh. Harry Groton <laughs> takes some lessons in golf course etiquette in tonight's Ion Kellowan. Fans who attended last year's very first Sanford International were on their best behavior at the Minnehaha Country Club. Everybody for a first year event did a really great job by understanding the rules and regulations of a regular golf tournament. And organizers expect fans will be equally respectful of the rules during this year's tournament. We know that sometimes people won't be quiet, but we just ask that they try their best to abide by uh, what the marshals are telling them to do. Marshals are posted at each of the 18 holes to ensure that everyone in the gallery minds their tees and cues. Mistakenly, people uh, sometimes will, will yell or you know, be talking when somebody's getting ready to hit, uh, sometimes on an adjacent hole. So we have to be aware of uh, not only our hole, but holes around us, too. Quieting the crowd is usually just a simple matter of holding up a sign. But once a player makes a shot, fans can give their full-throated approval. The more creative the cheer, the better. They'll make a Chewbacca sound. That's I've heard that one before. Surprisingly, I don't know why I don't I don't make that up. Cheering is accompanied by the subdued golf clap. Now show me the proper technique as far as doing a golf clap. You got to keep your keep your head down and your eye on the on the on the hand, right? Yes, exactly. You got to cup your hand just perfectly in a nice light little. You got other people playing on the golf course. You can't be disrupting play on a different hole. That's why the hushed tones of the golf voice are also encouraged. Every once in a while, a golfer, even a professional, will hit an errant shot that veers off the fairway and toward the crowd. So when you hear four, you need to duck and protect yourself. If you get hit in the body, it's one thing, but if you get hit in the, in the face or the head, that, that can't, I can't imagine that would feel too good. The Sanford International is recruiting even more volunteers to help with crowd control at this year's tournament to prevent spectators from making spectacles of themselves. With I on Kelloland. I'm Perry Groton. Fans attending the Sanford International are allowed to bring their cell phones onto the course, but the devices have to be on silent or vibrate. And fans can ask for autographs during the Pro Am events on September 18th and 19th, but once the tournament begins, autograph seekers can only approach the players after their round is completed. And you can watch our special coverage of the tournament on this week's Inside Kelloland as well as our sports special at 6:30. Monday night. And even if you don't like golf, it is an interesting thing to it, see. It looks like it's like a big fanfare. It's a big event. Big event, yeah. Definitely worth checking out. Well,